I decided that today I would step outside of the comfort of my apartment and challenge myself to do a bunch of new things. I read somewhere online that time passes really quickly when you're stuck in the same routine and the same loop and your brain is just going in autopilot mode and I feel like that's what I have been doing in my actions and not only my actions but my emotions. I've been in autopilot of complaining. embarrassing yeah so anyways we need to spark some change I literally just came back from traveling and when I'm over there I'm like trying all these new things exploring the city by myself and for some reason when I'm in Vancouver and I'm in my hometown I'm like mmm rather just sit in my apartment which is like not the vibe I should be doing new things to make my days feel more exciting and different and fun and new so today me and you <laughs> We're gonna go on a date. Last night at 12 o'clock, you know, when the thoughts were pouring in my brain, what makes me happy? Question mark. Eating good food. Seeing friends. Doing yoga. Visiting cute cafes and getting coffee. Feeling pretty. Having a clean home. Visiting a cute bookstore or thrift store. Listening to good music. Okay, that's really all I wrote down. But obviously there's more. Being around my friends, being around my family, cooking good food. So this morning I was like, let's get out of my funk. I want to start my day off strong, so I am going to get dressed in something cute. I'm going to put makeup on, I'm going to do my hair, and then we're going to make breakfast. I'm going to show you guys a new recipe. So let's make today a good day. Okay, so after finishing what felt like the longest self-care prep for a random day in my life, but this wasn't a random day, this was all specifically because I was filming it. But after all that, I start getting into my makeup routine. This is my everyday makeup routine, but I spent a little bit more time on my face makeup as I would if I was going out for like an event or something, just because I wanted it to look extra good. If you guys do want to see a makeup tutorial or one more in depth with products, let me know because I would be so down to do that. For my face makeup, I just make sure that I focus a lot on using a good primer using setting spray in between like all my steps using a good foundation I also use cream bronzers and cream blushes and then I set my face with translucent setting powder I also love filling in my eyebrows pretty lightly with a brow pencil and also I do want to mention I do have eyelash extensions they're kind of falling out now but they obviously still make such a big difference and I love having them I did a little bit of an eyeshadow look and of course a big thing for me is having lip liner and lipstick this just makes all the difference for me and then I just make sure to set it all with setting spray and then and as for my hair, I can also do a more in-depth hair get ready with me, but I'm just curling it with a wand away from my face and using hairspray and a little bit of dry shampoo for volume. Okay, the hair, the makeup, it is complete. I feel good. I feel alive. I'm already starting to be in a good mood. I'm listening to some fun music. The sun is coming out. My disco ball is shining in the room. Now, all we still need is an outfit. So let's go pick one together. For today, I want to wear something that I know makes me feel good, but a lot of times I don't wear because there's no special occasion. But you know what? Being alive is the special occasion today. So I think I'm going to wear a skirt. I'm going to wear something a little bit outside my comfort zone not really but let's see what we can find okay we're gonna try this dress it is from brandy melville i'm not sure if i love the fit of it so we're gonna have to try this on and then we can throw a pink cardigan on top i think with like a black bag and some black doc martens i think that would look super cute okay what are we thinking Oh, this is going to all my astrology babes, which honestly might be a big portion of my following. But if you're one of those people that's like, oh my God, shut up, astrology horoscope girls, then disregard what I'm about to say. But I saw this thing and it was like, if you want to feel your best, look your best, dress as your horoscope sign or your rising sign. I thought my rising was a Pisces and I really attached myself to that mentality. Turns out my mom got my birthday wrong and I'm actually an Aries rising, which is completely the opposite of what I think I am. If you don't know anything about astrology, Aries is like a super 
bold and fiery sign and your rising is like how you present yourself to the world so I would never think of myself as someone that's like super fiery towards the world but you know what maybe I am sometimes but anyways my sun sign is a Libra and Libras if you know anything about them you know they love beautiful things they love aesthetic things they like pink luxury they like feeling like a pretty feminine you know I know. Even though sometimes I stray away and I like to wear black and I like to, you know, have that like going out messy look, I love a good white pastel pink Pinterest girly, if you will, outfit. It just makes me feel good. And this, this right now is making me feel like a pretty princess. I'm already in a good mood. This is working. It's working, guys. For shoes, I love wearing these Doc Martens. I always wear them with mid-rise socks. I think I'm gonna pair it with this black bag. I actually just bought this from Brandy Melville. I even have this ring with some black on it. Look how cute this is. Tell me it's not cute. If you know anything about me, you know that fitness is a big part of my life. I feel like something that without a doubt improves my mental health and keeps me being happy and feeling healthy is any sort of physical activity. My favorite being yoga or cycling or walking. I am so happy to be able to talk to you guys about Freebie. She is my stationary bike and she's pink. You guys have probably seen her in the corner of some of my videos. The Freebie Lip Bike is equipped with a rotatable HD 22 inch touchscreen. It is designed to seamlessly transition from cycling to strength training. They offer hundreds of on-demand classes with just one membership and the all access free beat membership provides household access for up to 10 accounts it comes with such a great price for premium quality and i'm just obsessed with the look of it i feel like it fits perfectly in a home or an apartment and it's a perfect way to get your exercise in if you don't want to leave your house or you want something stationary i know a lot of people have like knee problems and the hot girl walk isn't ideal for them so if you want to do a hot girl bike ride this is definitely the option for you if you didn't already know when you do exercise you do release a chemical called endorphins and endorphins trigger a positive feeling in your body so it's literally scientifically proven that working out makes you feel a lot happier so I am going to ride the bike this morning the freebie lip bike is designed and engineered in Switzerland it has a unique wooden flywheel that was designed to look clean and elegant as well as outstanding in every aspect in terms of usability durability and versatility they offer 100 levels of resistant levels with an auto resistant option which automatically changes your resistant to match the instructor's cues which is a super helpful tool they also have a vertical and horizontal seat adjustment with saddle sensors to improve your gamified workouts and gain more points by detecting your form of riding which is just so fun and makes the ride much more enjoyable the gamification feature allows users to build a rhythmic flow follow the beat to compete with friends and families all users can enjoy new classes every day with a minimum of 15 to 30 minute workouts with our world-class instructor you can also keep yourself accountable and motivated by achieving personal goals and progress by tracking your workout metrics like power cadence and resistance this bike has a great price with premium quality I'm so out of breath. I am done now. Thank you so much for Freebie for sponsoring this video. If you want to check them out and use my code Fernanda Special for an additional $100 off off of existing deals on Freebie's website. Part of dressing and feeling my best is honestly smelling good. I just bought this lotion a week ago and it's the Jo Malone London English Pear and Freesia Hand and Body Lotion. This was $80. Should I be buying $80 hand creams? Probably not. I'm not even a grandma yet. But this smells so good. It lasts so long and I think it's like perfume infused. So if you pair this with the perfume, you smell unreal all day. I've gotten a lot of compliments on this. Okay, slay. I just realized that my phone is almost about to die and I can't go out into the city with a dead phone. So two things we're gonna do. One, charge my phone. Two, we're going to make something to eat before we leave. Welcome to my kitchen. She's the cutie, she's the babe, I love her. I just realized this is the perfect setting for me to film like a little cooking series. So if you guys wanna see that, definitely let me know because I will do it. But today we're going to be making a berry peach oat crumble. So basically this is gonna be like baked oats and it's gonna look super cute. You can take aesthetic photos of it. It looks like this. I actually posted it to my Instagram a while ago and I told you guys that I was gonna make a recipe for it and I hadn't done it in so long. So let's get all our ingredients.
at the oven for 350 degrees and I'm gonna hope that 15 minutes is enough I'm gonna check on it and like see if it needs more time or if it doesn't but in these 15 minutes I'm going to do a quick clean of my apartment because having a clean apartment honestly boosts my mood significantly if I can just spend 15 minutes just picking up whatever I didn't put away my future self will thank me She's ready to eat and I've never been more excited. I added some whipped cream to it. Obviously, if you're trying to go for a healthier option, don't do that, but this is a day of joy, so I can do whatever I want. I ended up putting it in the oven for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is good. That is good. You get the little bit of chocolate in there. order of business is to go get a coffee this is something that I try to do not every single day but in all honesty it is something that brings me joy and I love trying out new coffee shops there's also one that just opened in the city and it's like half outside half inside so I think we're gonna go to this cafe And it's got two shots of espresso, so I'm hyped about that. Doesn't taste too much like coffee. This is so good. Basically, it's like a bookstore slash spirituality store, crystal store, aesthetic, cute thing store. They just have so many different books. Will ants crawl up my pants? I just don't know. I just don't know. I was trying to think of a place where I could talk freely by myself in the outdoors and there's just so many people around me everywhere. So I don't know if this is the best spot. But anyways, let me give you guys a haul of what I just bought. Okay, so first of all, that store was so cool. I am obsessed with it. Everything in there is so fun. If you are from the area, I highly recommend going. First of all, I got shower steamers. They're in the scent eucalyptus and mint. They look like this. It says place one steamer on the floor of your shower. The shower will slowly dissolve the steamer, releasing the essential oils into the air, and then you can breathe deeply. I got four different kinds of crystals. I also took pictures of all of their descriptions so that I actually know what they're for and it's not just, you know, random ones. The first one I got is black tourmaline. It says that it's highly protective, grounding, purifying. It dispels energy blockages and shields psychic attacks. I don't have psychic attacks, but I heard that this was good for like a new home, so thought I'd get it. The second one I got was this one. It's pink opal. I got rhodonite. And then the last one I got is adventuring. I got four bookmarks because they were free, but I think they're super cute. Out of all books, I don't know why I chose these two, but they called my name. And when I was like flipping through the pages, they seemed interesting. So I just decided to get it. The first one being the new rules of aging well. I am in fact 20 years old, so I don't really think <laughs> that I need to worry about aging right now, but this whole book basically has chapters about basically having a healthy lifestyle. I 
just thought it was interesting. It talks about having good habits and basically how to, you know, age gracefully. The second book, also really random, but it's called The Moon Cycle Cookbook, a holistic nutrition guide for a well-balanced menstrual cycle. Did I need this? Probably not, but it caught my attention. It's got like all the different chapters about your menstrual cycle and the moon and its phases and like what kind of foods and rituals you can do during certain times. Um, it's got so many delicious looking recipes. Lastly, I got some yummy bear strawberry kiwi gummy bears. Rosina is actually on her way to come pick me up. I'm super excited because I'm gonna get to hang out with her tonight and the sense today is a video about things that make me happy. You know, one of the main things is hanging out with friends. It immediately boosts my mood and it's just, I just feel so good when I'm around people that I love. Then we're gonna get my favorite food, which is ramen. Anyways, mental health update. I feel really great right now. Compared to how I was yesterday, I was super anxious yesterday. And you know what, maybe all it did was take a day to do my favorite things. It's a really nice park. Look how so, cute. Oh my god, wow. Yeah, this is really cute. <laughs> Look at that person. Is that allowed? Y'all <laughs> just got like it. It's giving. It's so pretty out. I feel like this is the Vancouver that I see like on TikTok. And I'm, like, and I'm like, where is this Vancouver? No, it's actually here. <laughs> Oh my god, oh wow. Okay. Yay! Guys, we got Jinya. Oh my god, it's really loud. It's, I haven't had ramen in like six months. And we used to get Jinya all the time, especially when it was really cold out. Yeah. But I feel like it always hits, so it's gonna be really good. Oh, she didn't get ramen this time, but she got bao bun and little sushi. They're so and good. And little spicy tuna. Why is this like perfect right now? Like even the music? I'm like a... Our own little sitcom. Something cool in the city. Yum. Is that how we all got lost? Yum. Mm. Okay. Hey, man. Hey, man. Mmm. Mmm. I feel like the thing is, is we could do this in like October. No, we can't. we can't. Actually, it might even look cuter. Mm -hmm. This video is about like all the things that make me super happy. Mm -hmm. I was like, eating good food makes me really happy. So what are things that you do? And you know when you were like in the moment and you're like, oh, I'm so happy right now. Mm -hmm. Those things. I love doing like art things, like little like artsy things, like whether that be like painting, like what we're gonna do yeah. today, or like drawing. But like when you're like really into it and mm -hmm. you almost like forget about other things, like mm -hmm. you know when you're just like drawing and the only thing you think about is yeah. like, there's like, no thoughts, you're just mush. Yeah, like reading also mm -hmm. does that to you. Mm -hmm. And you just feel like you're like in a book. Travel. Travel. Yeah, because I was mm -hmm. saying when I went to like Montreal and I go to other cities I'm like being so adventurous and I'm like filming the little cute things that are inspiring yet when I'm in Vancouver I'm just like it's hard to break out of just being in your home because it's like you're so comfortable You're just doing your work and you're in routine, but there's so many pretty things to do out here mm -hmm. And Vancouver's actually probably like it's I, like, high it up there only places that you should visit in your life and like we live here I know what the fuck are we doing? I so I was just traveling Europe in Barcelona I had a conversation with someone who lived there. I was like, oh my gosh, like you're so lucky like you live here and he was like Yeah, like I live here and I'm like, oh my gosh, like you guys have some of the most beautiful beaches in the world And he's like, yeah, I don't really think of it like that He's like, I honestly live 20 minutes from the beach, but like I hardly even go We were actually talking about it the other day and I think it's so important to like really realize take in like if a tourist were to come to my city like what are mm -hmm. the things they would do mm -hmm. and have i even done those things the big thing about vancouver for example is like stanley park i don't yeah. even think i've ever biked it yeah I, I, if you know anything about vancouver or bc it's like a very nature city like a hike city mm -hmm. i have never been on a hike before me either and like so that is humiliating for us so and yeah i let him know i'm like oh yeah like i'm from vancouver and he's like oh my gosh like vancouver's on my bucket list so i'm like if we're all just sitting in our little cities and our mm -hmm. little towns and being like oh i wish i was there i wish i was there mm -hmm. and everyone's wanting what everyone else has i think it's so important to find beauty and where you are first before you Facts. like go and travel the world and look for it elsewhere word word, word. No. word. word. <laughs> the 
Oh, we are on the town, but we're not clubbing. Yeah. We're, so. we're in a part of Vancouver that's like really well known for going out and we're eating our ice cream. We're eating our ice cream. All the night people are out right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're in a little sundress. <laughs> Honestly, it's kind of cool. Getting so awesome. good combos in, it's a lot of fun. We're catching up. And it's also fun because why not? You can also like people watch. <laughs> you can, you can go and people watch if you really want to. That's kind of what we're doing. Oh.